Good morning, students. Today in science lesson, we are going to see motions of the earth, part three. We've already seen two parts about the earth. What have we seen? We have seen, okay. We've seen, this is the earth, okay. हमने देखा था ये earth है, okay. Earth क्या करता है? Rotate करता है. It rotates on its own. कहाँ पे एक axis है, okay. ऊपर से नीचे, there is a axis okay which along which the earth rotates or line which we cannot see is called the axis upper north pole hai niche south pole hai there is a line which divides the earth into two parts that line is called what the equator the line that line is called equator upper wala part is called the northern hemisphere niche wala part is called the southern hemisphere this is all that we saw in the first lesson in the second lesson, what did we see? In the second lesson, we saw that the earth rotates. Okay? Earth, jabi gumta hai, ladhu ki taraf, like a top when it rotates. What happens is that, sari parts of the earth do not receive sunlight at the same time. Yahaan pe dekho, to yedar sun hai, this is the moon and this is earth. And if you can see, the sun is only coming here. Peechay wala part mein, Sun nahi aara hai, kya aara hai? Moon aara hai. So this half of the earth, jahaan pe sun aata hai, that will have daytime. Okay? Whereas this half of the earth, jahaan pe there is no sunlight, will have what? Moon and it will be night time. So wapas gumega to, either daytime a jayega, neither night time a jayega. So only half of the earth gets daytime, the other half gets night time, where there is moon. So this is how day and night happens. Day and night happens because the earth, rotates like a top so the earth rotates like a top rotation like a top like a lattu on its axis and kitna time lagta hai ek rotation karne ke liye ek bar pura gumne ke liye rotate karne ke liye the earth takes one day and one day means how many hours 24 hours raat के 12 बजे से नेक्स्ट रात का 12 बजे तक 12 ओक्लॉक इन द नाइट नेक्स्ट डे 12 ओक्लॉक इन द नाइट 24 आवर्स इट टेक्स टू रोटेट ओके मेक वन रोटेशन दिस इज रोटेशन रोटेशन मतलब व्हाट लाइक अ टॉप घूमना रेवोल्यूशन मतलब क्या है रेवोल्यूशन मतलब इफ दिस इज द सन इफ दिस इज द अर्थ Sun ke around gumna. Sun ke around gumna. If this is the earth and this is the sun, earth revolves around the sun. So rotation means aise 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 top ki taraf gumna and revolution means it revolves around the sun on an line called the orbit. This is called what? Orbit. And if rotation takes one day, 24 hours, how much time does revolution take? Revolution takes longer. It takes 365 days and 6 hours. Okay? Ye 24 hours ya one day lagta hai. Ye revolution karne ke liye 365 days and 6 hours, which is ek saal, one year lagta hai. Earth ko ek bar sun ko gum ke aane ke liye, revolve karne ke liye, it takes one year okay so this is red rotation this is revolution this is revolution can you see the earth and this is the sun it is revolving around the sun so we saw rotation means spinning or turning like a top revolution means the earth going around the sun rotation takes 24 hours which means one day Revolution takes 365 days, which is one year. Ek din, ek saal. Rotation ke wajah se kya hota hai? Day and night. Okay, because the earth rotates, sun jahaan pe aata hai, udar day rehta hai, sun jahaan pe nahi aata hai, udar night rehta hai. So day and night happens because of rotation. And because of revolution kya aata hai? Revolution ke wajah se seasons change hote hai. Summer, Winter, spring, monsoon, ye sab seasons jo change ho dhe. Barish aata hai, bohot dup rehta hai, snow aata hai, ye sab revolution ke wajah se hota hai. Okay? So this is the difference between rotation and revolution. Rotation, 
revolution 24 hours one day rotation takes 24 hours which is eight then revolution takes 365 days january say december tak january says december tak 365 days which is ek saal one year to aap log fifth standard jab khatam karoge tab ek bar earth pura sun ko ghumega ek saal lagega and rotation causes change of day and night okay day or night rotation ki wajah se hota hai rotation aise a aise wajah se day and night hota hai and a revolution ke wajah se what happens the seasons change from summer autumn winter etc so we are going to see something called today called the leap year okay maine bola tha aapko that earth ek bar revolve karne ke liye to revolve around the sun it takes 365 days and 6 hours exactly 365 days nahi hota hai 6 hours zyada hota hai har ek saal mein every year 6 hours bhi lagta hai 365 days mein 6 hours lagta hai sun i mean earth ko sun se revolve karke aane mein so every year has this 365 days and ek extra 6 ghanta rehta hai extra 6 hours now every year ye extra 6 6 ghanta add karte four years every four years what happens this six hours plus six hours plus six hours plus six hours ye saal mein six hours zyada next saal mein six hours zyada third year mein six hours extra fourth year mein six hours extra so six plus six plus six plus six 24 hours matlab one day every four years mein extra aata hai so every four years there is an extra day okay saal mein ek extra din ho jata hai 365 days nahi rehta wo year mein 366 days rehta hai every year every normal year mein is saal mein 365 hai to every four years there is a extra day which becomes 366 days and that extra day falls on february 29 that extra day falls on february 29 and that year is called a leap year जो भी ईयर uh, में 366 डेज होता है एक्स्ट्रा एक दिन होता है वो इस साल को हम क्या बोलते हैं लीप ईयर करके बोलते हैं ओके एंड व्हाट डेट डस इट फॉल ऑन इट फॉल्स ऑन फेब्रुअरी 29th एवरी साल में फेब्रुअरी 29th नहीं होगा ओनली हर चार साल में एक बार फेब्रुअरी 29th होगा नहीं तो फेब्रुअरी में 28 डेज ही होता है ओके सो दिस इज लीप ईयर एंड इट फॉल्स ऑन फेब्रुअरी 29th एंड इट हैज हाउ मेनी डेज 366 डेज now we're going to see about revolution today okay and how it causes changes of seasons i said revolution earth ghumne ke liye ek bar sun se it takes 366 365 days and 6 hours one year it takes to revolve around the sun now jab earth sun se ghumta hai if you will see koi koi part of the earth again receives sunlight but कोई कोई part of the earth को sun नहीं आता है so जो part में sunlight ज़्यादा आता है वहाँ पे it will be hotter whereas जो part में sunlight कम आता है उधर it will be colder so if you see earth revolve कर रहा है sun से is earth revolving around the sun जहाँ पे sun आता है वहाँ पे summer it will be hotter जहाँ पे सन नहीं आता है वहाँ it will be colder and it might be winter, okay? So that's how the seasons change. Seasons change in revolution because of this. So summer से it becomes autumn, autumn से it becomes winter, winter से it becomes spring and then it becomes summer again. So this is the change of seasons. Change of seasons means जहाँ पे sunlight आता है वहाँ पे समर होगा। So 22nd March to 23rd September, Northern Hemisphere ऊपर वाले पार्ट में समर होगा। नीचे वाले पार्ट, which is the Southern Hemisphere, will have winter. Then next six months, 23rd September to 22nd March, ऊपर वाले पार्ट में विंटर होगा। Northern Hemisphere में विंटर होगा, उल्टा। And Southern Hemisphere में समर होगा। Okay? So every six months, the seasons will change between the hemispheres. Now, if you will see, there are six seasons in India. How many seasons in India? 
six seasons spring summer monsoon autumn pre winter winter spring means bahut sara trees aata hai flowers aata hai then birds butterflies and all come all the leaves become very very green and blooming that is spring summer is when it is very very hot and hamara school ka chuttiyan usually summer mein hote because it's very very hot summer vacation isli usko bolte hain monsoon is when there is rains we all wear umbrellas rain coats gum boots and all that so monsoon is basically your rainy season abhi jo chal raha hai wo rainy season okay next what comes autumn season after rainy season autumn season comes when all the leaves start falling down they become yellow they become orange and they start falling down from the trees and it becomes a little hot that is autumn pre winter is winter ke pehle wale pre means pehla so before winter when it is little little cold okay not very very cold but little little cold that's called pre winter and winter is when it becomes very very cold and in some places there is snow so what are the six seasons in india spring summer monsoon autumn pre winter winter in uh, in india in hindi these are also called as vasant ritu grishm ritu varsha ritu sharad ritu hemant ritu and shit ritu okay spring summer monsoon autumn pre winter and winter are the six seasons in india so this brings us to the end of this lesson what did we learn we learned about rotation we learned about revolution we learned that rotation causes day and night revolution causes change of seasons we learned about leap year which has 366 days and it has one extra day on february 29th we also learned about the six seasons in india okay the six seasons in india so today we are going to answer this worksheet ye worksheet answer karne wale hum log and we are also going to make a spin wheel of the six seasons in india jo che seasons hai india mein uska hum log spin wheel banane wale hain iske liye kavya didi will send you another video okay all right bye